these are some of the 170 people facing charges after the Battle of Waco. Biker dude after biker dude, even a biker chick. Authorities were predicting for at least two weeks that trouble was brewing. They were kind of anticipating that something might kick off. Undercover agent Charles Falco infiltrated motorcycle gangs for yes, the feds. He's in disguise because he says biker gangs are out to assassinate him. Falco says Sunday's turf war between the banditos and the Cossacks is the worst biker violence in history. What were the two rival gangs doing in that parking lot? They were there to show force against each other. It was a biker event uh, a day on Sunday day. A lot of so what 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 they call what these biker gangs call civilians, just normal bikers, and they wanted to show force against each other. So both of them showed up in in large groups. SWAT teams were standing by in case of trouble and moved in quickly when the battle erupted. Bikers fleeing the scene were pulled over and arrested. The gunplay started inside Twin Peaks, a restaurant chain best known as a rival to Hooters, with scantily clad waitresses wearing cut-off tops and hot pants. Local cops expressed anger because the restaurant in Waco actually promoted bike night to attract bikers and were said to be uncooperative. The owners deny that. We have attempted to work with the local management of Twin Peaks to get that cut back to no avail. Apparently the management wanted them here. Falco warns the gang war isn't over. Now the Cossacks and Banditos will be at war forever until they no longer exist. And the parent company of the Twin Peaks chain announced it had revoked the local restaurant's franchise agreement effective immediately.